So as magical as Dinosaur National Monument is, I have to admit that being here is a little bit bittersweet. I mean, this is the place where Brontosaurus died, where the key piece of evidence that banished that famous dinosaur forever was finally found. Now you might remember Brontosaurus from you know, old documentaries or museum displays or dinosaur play sets. That's not the name that we use for the dinosaur anymore. It's Apatosaurus is actually the proper name. Paleontologists have known that since 1903. But there's something that was always missing with these skeletons. There's no head, there's no skull. You know, for an 80 foot long animal, no one could ever manage to find the head for some reason. Well, it turns out that when Earl Douglas was working here at Dinosaur National Monument, he actually found the long lost skull of Apatosaurus. He just didn't know it. Back when the quarry was expanded, he found the skull beneath these skeletons, and he thought it belonged to another dinosaur called Diplodocus. He'd found plenty of Diplodocus skulls that kind of looked like one. So it went back to the Carnegie Museum of Natural History in Pittsburgh, where it sat for 70 years until these two paleontologists, David Berman and John McIntosh, had to look back through the collections, had to look back at the notes, and figure out that Douglas had discovered the Apatosaurus skull. So in 1978, they finally put the proper head on this dinosaur, this head with these pencil-like teeth, this elongated look, banishing that blunt skull brontosaurus like they'd been around for so long and finally consolidated Apatosaurus as the dinosaur that we know and love now.